All right, guys, so in this video, I'm going to be discussing what is currently going on with stadiums in the state of Ohio. I did a video on Florida, how they're all changing to adding some type of roof. You know, you would think with Ohio being a little bit colder, maybe possibly teams getting domes. The main ones we're going to focus on, you do have an MLB stadium receiving renovations. You've got two NFL stadiums possibly getting them as well. So that's what we're really going to hit on. The first one I'm going to talk about, however, is both college football stadiums. So first, you do have the best stadium in the state, Ohio Stadium. This is around 100 years old at this point. It's been expanded multiple times. The unique fact about Ohio Stadium is they actually took away seats in about 2017. The all-time attendance record at Ohio Stadium was the Michigan-Ohio State game in 2016 when the attendance was 110K. There is no way they could fit that right now. If you're talking about fully filling up Ohio Stadium with standing room, I would say you could probably get about 105K into it. They limited the capacity down slightly, and now the standard capacity of Ohio Stadium is just above 102K. But Ohio Stadium is going nowhere. The horseshoe, it looks beautiful. They extended the student section seating, which can kind of cause some issues sometimes when Ohio State is facing bad teams because that section seems to be pretty empty. The kids don't want to go to a game against a bad opponent, and there's so many seats to fill now. But either way, I would not see anything changing with Ohio Stadium outside of them possibly having to change the field turf because they put in the wrong turf and apparently the turf that they currently has causes injuries. The other major college stadium to look at in the state of Ohio, it is Nippert Stadium in Cincinnati. So they recently got a renovation and their stadium looks beautiful. And we know Cincinnati now in a power four league really trying to build on that momentum. The way the stadium fits into the campus and the surrounding buildings is really nice, and I just think it has an amazing capacity. Like, if you're a, someone like Cincinnati, the way their stadium is designed, you don't have any crazy upper decks. You don't need them. It's unnecessary. Keep the energy in the stadium. You don't need to build some 70,000 seat, you know, thing. They just did a really good job with their the size of their stadium based on the program that they currently have. So Cincinnati, they again, they just got their renovation, so they're not going to be receiving a new one anytime soon, I wouldn't think. Maybe they'll get a few light things, but the major thing with Cincinnati, they're getting a new practice facility. Uh, but guys, let's get to the NFL stadium. So both of these stadiums, I do think, will be renovated. The Brown Stadium, there was some talk this summer, or really in April, about them possibly either doing a $1 billion stadium rebuild similar to what the Jacksonville Jaguars are doing. Will that include a translucent roof? I don't know. There's been talk of that. Or there's been talk of a brand new stadium altogether. Now the talks have pretty much stalled due to the fact that the Cleveland City Mayor has said there's going to be no taxpayer money going into the funding of a renovation or a new stadium. I do think Jimmy Haslam was planning to build a new stadium in a different area in Cleveland, but the, the Cleveland mayor kind of halted those plans by saying that. So now they're back to the drawing board. And we'll see if they do decide to stay in the same place and do a rebuild. That seems like a logistical nightmare considering the Browns would have to play somewhere else for two years. That was kind of the whole rumors. Would the Browns go to Ohio Stadium in Cincinnati? Would they go to the Hall of Fame you know, stadium in Canton, Ohio? It'll be interesting. Either way, if they do do the rebuild, it'll probably be very expensive. And I do think at minimum, if they do a stadium rebuild, there will be a giant overhang installed into that stadium either that or a fully see-through translucent roof, but I would expect the Browns to get a renovation soon. Also on the Browns, just talking about their stadium, they got a really nice renovation back in 2014 behind both of the end zones where they removed a bunch of the bleacher seating. The bleacher seating was just the giant wall of seating that was never filled. It looked really bad, and they did a really good job removing that, putting in a nice state-of-the-art new scoreboard that looks really futuristic and really clean, and then also adding some different sections of like club seating as well. So that was a really good renovation for Cleveland Browns Stadium. I don't think they need a new stadium, but certainly 
you know, you would think a renovation. Honestly, if the Browns really wanted to just be cheap with it, they could realistically just stay here for the next like 10 to 15 years, but it is a bad location in Cleveland. It's way out of the way, right on, you know, right near the water. And then there's also the idea with the renderings of them building a land bridge to try and connect it to the city along with redeveloping the entire lakefront, but that would be even more money. I mean, you're talking about over a billion dollars just to do that. So we'll see what the Browns end up doing. And then the other NFL stadium, it is Paycor Stadium. This was formerly Paul Brown Stadium in Cincinnati. So this is routinely considered one of the top five to 10 worst stadiums in the NFL, just because it's very bland. And there have been some renderings floating around, kind of weird renderings back in like 2018, 2019 of Cincinnati installing some type of like jungle area behind their scoreboard. I don't exactly know what Cincinnati is going to do, but I have speculated that they might decide to just build a new stadium. Not sure if they really have the money. And it is also important to understand with Cincinnati, when that team is not good, they do not draw well. So right now, you know, you would think they're going to be good for a while, just signing Joe Burrow to that massive contract. I'm sure they're going to do the same thing with Jamar Chase. They'll probably lose T. Higgins, but I would anticipate Cincinnati probably in 2025 or 2026 going through some type of renovation. It's not going to be nearly as radical as the Browns. I would anticipate it would just take probably two off seasons. They would do a phase one and a phase two. I'm not sure if they would try and install some type of overhang for the fans. I mean, Cincinnati is a lot warmer than Cleveland, so it's not like you're going to build a brand new stadium. They just don't have the money for it right now unless the owner goes crazy and says he'll fund the entire project. Either way, I would I would anticipate a renovation based on how bad the stadium currently is. It's not horrific or anything like that. Like You're not going to go to it and say this is a terrible venue like you would FedEx Field. But it's certainly nothing special, and that's why there's been dialogue dating back to 2018 about them possibly getting a renovation. So that's the other NFL stadium that I would expect in the near future to receive some type of renovation. And then it comes into like, oh, there'll be standing room areas. It's kind of like all this stuff that they've been talking about. Uh, moving to the MLB stadium. So you do have the Cleveland Guardians. Once again, going through another renovation, they are trying to fix their former a botched renovation of the right field upper deck where they installed a bunch of shipping containers and now they're putting in solar panels. They're changing it. I think it looks slightly better. I still don't love the way they're doing it. I would love to see them really put a bar up there, but I don't think that, you know, based on their attendance, they can really do that. The bar would probably be, probably be closed most of the time. So they're changing the right field upper deck and they're also changing the upper deck seating down the third baseline as well. And the attendance is not going to change or the capacity is not going to change too much. It's still going to be around 34K. The Guardians have an extremely small stadium in terms of capacity because unfortunately they've really struggled to draw, but that is going to be coming. That's going to be a multi-phase process in 2024 and 2025. So there's going to be big changes by opening day next year for the Cleveland Guardians. And then looking at Great American Ballpark, so I don't really foresee any big-time renovations coming for the Cincinnati Reds, uh, the other MLB stadium, outside of maybe the stadium exterior. So I had done a video uh, about a week ago on MLB stadium exteriors, and I rated Great American Ballpark when you're walking into the stadium right behind home plate as the second worst stadium exterior. If I was the Reds, I would really consider building up the facade around the stadium because it looks really bad but that's something that's kind of anecdotal like 99% of the people are not going to see that in terms of on TV or anything like that because they never show it so maybe they just won't do anything but they really do need to improve their stadium exterior the interior of the stadium I don't really see anything that Cincinnati can do because they have that split upper deck you're really not going well I mean Maybe they could make some standing room sections in the upper deck, but it just seems unnecessary almost. Cincinnati should be pretty good in the future. And when Cincinnati is good, they do sell well. They have a good attendance when their team performs better and they do have a young core there that they're developing. So for Cincinnati, I would say maybe an exterior renovation and maybe putting in some uh, social spaces into the upper deck, but it's not like they have walls of empty seats in the upper deck. The way the stadium was designed was really good. It was a split upper deck, and then there's two sections stacked on top uh, down the line. So 
They've, it seems like they've actually kind of renovated that little corner there where they've put in some standing room spaces. Yeah, you'll see that every now and then. Teams will do these really small renovations. You'll be able to catch it. So it seems like they did that a little while ago. And then talking about, this is not a stadium, I guess. This is an arena. But the Cavs did a really nice renovation to what is now called Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. The exterior of it is beautiful. To me, this is almost like an NBA super arena. At least the one side of the exterior. I just think it looks so nice, dude. It really does. The other sides, they didn't really renovate, so they kind of look old. But I think they did a really good job on the Cleveland Cavaliers Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. I, I always call it the Q. The Q was such a great name. But yeah, it is kind of weird because like the entire building, none of it's renovated outside of that one area. But it is a really good renovation. And then they also renovated the interior. They took out a few seats in the upper deck and kind of installed standing room social spaces there. And then getting to MLS. So both Cincinnati and Columbus have MLS teams. And I really can't even give you my opinion on their stadiums. I think Cincinnati Stadium is called Lower.com Field or something. And MLS stadiums are all the same. They've got the overhang. They've got the, the seats right around a capacity of 20K or 25K. And then the one side of it is always like a suite section. Uh, so it is. it looks fine. It's nothing special. I will say when you look at Cincinnati's original designs, they did look amazing. The final product is fine, but it's a little bit of a letdown in comparison to the rendering. So when we're talking about the state of Ohio, obviously there are other stadiums. There's a bunch of Mac stadiums, but I just went over the major ones. And I would say the key thing to watch for this state in the future you're looking at Cleveland and you're looking at Cleveland Brown Stadium. That is the red alert right now. What are the Browns going to do? Are they going to go fully invest into a dome like other cold weather places like Detroit, like Minnesota, or are they going to do the Buffalo Bills model, which is no, we're a cold weather city. We're going to build an overhang to try and keep the fans warm, but we're still going to deal with all of the you know, precipitation and possible snow. The Browns had a game last year against the New Orleans Saints where it was just miserable. The entire field was frozen over and it just looked like, you know, complete like rock hard snow on the ground. So that's the number one thing to look at when it comes to Ohio. Will the building techniques of Ohio change in terms of their stadiums? It's kind of hard to say because with Florida, you could kind of tell all the teams are doing the same thing. I guess you could say maybe Cleveland is changing because they might go to a dome. You know, it's the whole cold weather thing versus climate controlled. Also, the Browns may be getting a Super Bowl because of it. Although, I, I, is it really worth to build a dome for one singular Super Bowl? I don't know. And then Cincinnati, to me, the big thing to watch with that city is what ends up happening with uh, Paycor Stadium. And also, I guess you could say it's not a stadium, but Nationwide Arena, the Columbus Blue Jackets NHL Arena, that, I like that arena a lot. I think I ranked it like top seven in terms of NHL arenas. And then Ohio Stadium, the best stadium in the state. I don't think they're going to be changing it much at all. I mean, it's received renovations over the year, just like any legendary stadium. I think one of the more un unique questions when it comes to college football, like when do these stadiums start to expire? Because these things are like all 100 years old. Ohio Stadium, Michigan Stadium, you know, do they just keep renovating it to death and, and it lasts like 500 years? It's, it's an interesting question. Who is the first college team? Because you know this is going to happen eventually. Some of these college stadiums are going to start looking like NFL stadiums. You know it's going to happen. And maybe it won't happen until 2035 or 2040 when there's a boom but it's going to happen. Somebody's going to do it, and then everyone else is going to follow with brand new stadiums, and there's going to be big investments, all with NIL. There's so much money in college football, but that is kind of next level. I mean, stadiums cost billions of dollars. That's a little bit different than paying a kid a million dollars to come to your program. But either way, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure you're following me on X. Link to that's always in the description.